Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I rise to contribute to the debate on the Media Review 2018. In doing so, Mr. Speaker, I would like to emphasize that the media review that was submitted or uh, moved by the minister was exactly an abridged version. But if you read the document itself, you will find propaganda and PR that was used to hide what is a gloomy economy and what is a non-performance by this government. Mr. Speaker, it is very strange that we keep saying that the economy in 2016 grew by only 3.7, and that today the economy has expanded by 8.5. And yet the contradictions in this document in respect of the 3.7% growth and the 8.5% growth are so alarming. Mr. Speaker, how can an economy that expanded by only 3.7% be projected to deliver a revenue of 20.8 billion in five months. But the economy that expanded by 8.5% uh, will rather be projected to deliver a lower revenue of 18.8%. Mm. So technically, your salary goes up by 3.7% and it gives you more taxes than your salary that goes up by 8.5%. This is a pure contradiction. But Mr. Speaker, what is even worse? is that the actual outturn of tax revenue for the first five, six months stood at 17.3 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, that economy that delivered only 3.7 recorded more revenue of 17.8, an additional 500 million Ghana cities. How can you reconcile these two figures? That when the economy is doing badly, it rather de delivers better development. Mr. Speaker, there are several other contradictions that you find with respect to the development that we are seeing. Mr. Speaker, we are told that the economy was worse in 2016, and yet in this document, in the budget that has been submitted, Mr. Speaker, the signs are much more worse in 2017 and 18 than they were in 2016. Mr. Speaker, in the first quarter of 2016, we delivered non-oil growth of 6.3%. Uh, Today, after having worked hardly for two years, or almost two years, we are only doing 5.4%, and we are so excited that it has picked up from 39 last year to 5.4%. But we are not worried that this is still far short of what was delivered in 2016 at 6.3%. So, Mr. Speaker, we still have a lot of work to do to catch up with the mess of Don Mohamed 6.3%, which is far better than the economy that is saying is doing better at 5.4. We need to work a lot harder. Mr. Speaker, we have been told that the economy grew by 6.7% in 2016, the 2018, the first quarter. But Mr. Speaker, the reality is that fishing and fishery product declined or contracted by a negative 8.1%. Mr. Speaker, Financial services and insurance recorded its worst performance in five years at a negative 7.9%. Mr. Speaker, construction recorded negative 0.8%, and hotels and restaurants recorded negative 0.4%. This is the picture the, president, uh, the, the minister decided to use an abridged budget to hide from the people of Ghana. The economy is struggling, and the people of Ghana are living from hand to mouth. And this hand-to-mouth economy is now intended to impose an additional 1.3 billion of the little that they used to get their breakfast and lunch. Obviously, we may not even get a breakfast when you start implementing these taxes. Mr. Speaker, a major issue that we need to look at is how to help the city. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker the city, despite all the gymnastics, despite all the calculations of averages, the reality is that even as of last year this time, the city had only depreciated by 3.8%. Today, it has depreciated by 5.88%. Mr. Speaker, the city is badly exposed. I have in my hand the 
The Bank of Ghana's own summary economic and financial data that was issued for the last meeting, which, ended, which is ending today. And Mr. Speaker, we are being told that our net foreign assets, which provide cover for the city, which provide cover for the city, has decreased from an increase of 111% to something in the region of only 13%. That is to say that foreign currency doesn't, is no more available in our country. And Mr. Speaker, the minister himself alludes to this when he says that net, domain, uh, net foreign assets have declined by 24.4% in his own media review document. So, Mr. Speaker, these are not external shocks. This is clearly lack of confidence of the investor community that is refusing to keep their money in Ghana. People are running away from the kind of economic management that is purely propaganda but delivers nothing. And as a result of that, yeah, as a result yeah. of that, the city has been badly Tell exposed. Them. Mr. Speaker, the minister stated in his own budget, in his own budget, that the cover for the city in terms of our net international reserve has declined from 2.6 to 2.1. So stop talking 4.5 months because that money is gross, it's not all available to you. What is available to you can only cover 2.1 months of export, uh, import. And as a result, the CD GPS. is now an epileptic. The CD is a fugitive currency, and I hope that the IGP finds a way to, to find this fugitive currency. To arrest. Mr. Speaker, we have heard many times when this government has said that they issued a euro bond, which is the cheapest that we have ever had in this country. Mr. Speaker, I want to say right here and now that we should stop comparing historical interest rates with current interest rates. Because that shows a lack of understanding of how we price bonds and shows lack of understanding of how you go out to borrow. Mr. Speaker, it is equivalent to say that if you appointed a finance manager in a company, say, Data Bank, and you asked that finance manager to go and borrow for you on the market, and this finance minister, man, uh, manager went there and saw that interest rates were 10%, and he brings you an interest rate of 20%. When you ask him, so, Master, I've done well. Two years ago, it was 45%. That is the exact comparison you are making. Nobody uses historical interest rate to borrow money today. You look at the current interest rate and whether those interest rates make sense and bargain on the strength of that. Mr. Speaker, at the time we were issuing the euro bond, at the time we were issuing the euro bond, Ghana's 2024 uh, bonds were trading at 6% yield to maturity. In other words, investors were willing to give us money for 6%. Now you go and borrow at 8.6%. And when we ask you, you say, well, last year it was 9.6%. Mr. Speaker, if I had the power, I would have fired the minister where he was before he came back. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we need to understand. We need to understand that at the time you were borrowing, why is it that investors were getting 6% yield? It was because the 9.6% that we issued the earlier bond, they are willing to pay a premium of 3% in order to get only 6%. And so that 9.6% interest rate is already captured as a coupon in calculating the yield to maturity. So how did you now go onto the market? People are paying premium for your bonds at 3%. You go to issue your bond at a discount of 3% and still give them more interest of 8.6%. When you add that your 3% discount you have given, you have effectively issued the bond at 11.6 percent that is more expensive and you should rather be getting ready to meet martin amidu to explain <laughs> how to explain how investors want to borrow our bonds at six percent and you went and gave them 11.6 percent and when you come you do this incompetent comparison of historical interest rate nobody nobody with a passing knowledge of how bonds are priced and evaluated would ever compare today's interest rate with yesterday's interest rate. So please, stop saying that it was 20%, and so when you get to be 10%, you have done better. You have rather created serious troubles for this country. Mr. Speaker, when I look at this budget, I see a very similar trend in the MPP's PR budgets. When the Minister of Finance comes to this house, and he is supposed to tell us what he has done in 2018, and how we achieve 
the 2018 estimate, the minister now realizes that the people of Ashanti region are peeved. The people of Ashanti region have not seen their fair share of the national cake. So you come to list 14. You come to list 14 road projects that are supposedly going to be constructed. Where is the money? There isn't one city. There isn't one city in the estimate of your budget to construct one road that you have listed here. So clearly, 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 Mr. Speaker, clearly, Mr. Speaker, the people of Ashanti region have been shortchanged. What the people of Ashanti region should know is that the Minister of Finance has brought forward the Minister of Finance has brought forward his 2019 budget in order to find something to tell them. Otherwise, they will get nothing in 2018. Stop this propaganda and tell the people the truth. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we have been told consistently that our budget deficit has declined. Mr. Speaker, I want to go to table one of the minister's own budget. Page. That is page 12, paragraph 40, 45, I think. Mr. Speaker, the minister says that the total provisional outturn of expenditure, the total provisional outturn of expenditure is 51,388,96 billion, billion Ghana cities. In other words, the minister is reporting a total expenditure of 51 billion. And as a result, he has gotten a deficit of 12.4 billion, which is giving him a deficit of 5.9. Mr. Speaker, fast forward, look at paragraph 48. Paragraph 40, 47 of the minister's own report. Mr. Speaker, and I, I, I want to read. He said, Mr. Speaker, expenditures were mainly adjusted to correspond to the revenue inflows for the period using the system of budget allotment. However, the payment of Unbudgeted allowances, especially to Article 71 holders, impacted adversely on the wage bill in 2017. Consequently, total expenditure, including clearance of arrears, amounted to 53.7 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, in the tables, the minister is reporting expenditure of 51 billion. But in the body of the report, he's telling us the true expenditure of 53.7 billion. Why would you get a lower deficit when you take off 2 billion of expenditure? Mr. Speaker, why would your deficit be low when you have shaved off 2 billion of your expenditure from your tables? Mr. Speaker, stop this clever accounting. Stop this clever financial engineer. You cannot be reporting different figures as and when you wish. And so, this is serious misreporting, and they should know that 51 billion and 53 billion cannot give you the same deficit numbers. So, Mr. Speaker, our deficit numbers are now not trusted. And I do not believe. But, Mr. Speaker, what is even worse is that if you go to the same table two of the minister's own report, he told us last year that he borrowed 100% on the domestic market. He didn't borrow from the external market. Mr. Speaker, on this table, external debt has increased by almost 7 billion, 6.9 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, where did it go? Where Definitely now be lower. And Mr. Speaker, your debt accumulation rate will now be lower. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.